um, you know, five minutes out from our line, uh, showed, you know, great time and great skill over the ball. And, and look, he's going to get better and better for, for that performance, I'm sure. What was your view of the incident with uh, an intruder on the pitch? Yeah, well, look, it was, um, yeah, I don't know. I, you know, we just saw a, a 2v1 type situation forming up and then, uh, yeah, I mean, you don't want to see that in the game. So very disappointed that that happened. But, uh, yeah, nothing that match officials could do about that. And uh, Fiji next week, what are your thoughts on selection at this early stage? Do you give others a chance after two very tough tests for some? Yeah, we sort of got a side in mind prior to this match and we're obviously wanting to wait to see how we came through with uh, with injuries um, and alike. So we'll we'll get the reports in over the weekend and, and settle on a side early in the week. Um, but definitely uh, the improvement that we showed from the All Black match to this match, we need to uh, to learn from this match and obviously improve for uh, for Fiji. Wayne, just one more on Ellis Jenkins, if that's okay. Um, aside from the fact that it was so heartening to see him play so well, how important do you think he's going to be in the next couple of years building towards the World Cup? I mean, when John Davis went off, it looked like he was the captain. Is that right? Yes, he was. And, and uh, you're right, he's an important player in that you know, uh, with Al at the moment with an injury, you know, you look at you're looking to others to to lead in the forwards. You know, with Justin Tipperick would normally be the stand, and then you go to Ken Owens with those players away. Alice Jenkins um, not only did he play well, but uh, at times had a leadership role out there, uh, along with Adam Beard. So those two are hugely important for us in terms of leadership. What have you learned about your younger guys? As people like Adam Beard and Tane Basham, Aaron Wainwright in a game like that, even though you lost, do you feel like you've got a lot of credit and a lot of, I don't know, legs in the bank for 2023 having come so close today? Well, I think playing South Africa in those conditions, which are ideal for the way they want to play the game, you know, it was going to be a testing time for us. And I thought we we stood up to that test very, very well. As I say, a couple of penalties, one just for half time, the one that led to the uh, driven line out try. You know, if we can tidy up those areas of our game, we're going to be very, very competitive against one of the best sides in the world or the current world champions in their own conditions. So look, it was a big tick in the box as far as the coaching group is concerned, but always there are things that we need to take out of that game and improve on. In terms of getting over the line against the box, um, lots of people tr struggle to score tries against them. It sounds like an obvious thing to say, but is, is that the vital element? You need to score at least twice against them to win? Uh, well, no, today was just about holding our discipline in key moments, I think, um, because, you know, if, if the discipline had held, uh, they don't get the opportunities to get the, the line-out drives five, ten metres out. But we repelled them on uh, several other occasions, so there was a lot of good work done in that area as well. But no, look, um, you know, I think I watched the All Blacks score in the first few seconds against them and not score again over 80 minutes, so they are a great defensive side. We know that, um, and uh, so that's why... For, from our point of view, there was a lot of good work done in those conditions against that side. Just a quick last one. How do you think the scrum went? Uh, well, obviously, I was disappointed with the scrum uh, because on their ball, I think they got a penalty at each scrum. So clearly uh, not happy with that side of the game. It's, game. it's part of the game, which, you know, we, we didn't want to give them ins because that gives them penalties. They kicked uh, and get their line out going, get the line out drive going. So... We certainly talked about it, but uh, today that's an area of the game we need to go away and, and obviously improve on. Hi, Wayne. It's Alex here. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, yes. That, that game was sort of made for Dan Bigger and I thought he was having an excellent match. Could you just sort of talk about the decision to bring Gareth on at that point when, you know, maybe it was better suited to hit to, to Dan? Oh, look, you can look at that. You can look at uh, the, the workload that people have have put in and then look at fresh legs, you know, because uh, we want to put pressure on kickers. Um, Dan had, had a huge workload at that stage and yes, he'd played well. Um, but, you know, we've got belief in the squad. Gareth's a player coming back and, uh, you know, the more game time he gets, he'll keep improving. It's important that, as we saw with Alan Wynn, you, you know, no one's uh, free of injury from time to time. So we need to keep building the squad. We need to get depth in all positions and certainly Gareth coming on will be better for that. Similarly to Ellis, you know, Tane was excellent last week, but to back it up again, you know, was, was brilliant from his perspective. Yeah, I thought he, he had a, another good game, very good game. He'll learn from that game, though, when he goes and looks at the breakdown. You know, we wanted to really push push uh, the boundaries there in these conditions, and we did, but we overstepped the mark a couple of times, and um, those are the penalties that, you know, we've got to make better decisions from time to time. Uh, and there was one there, um, I think Tane might have given away, which, which is a learning for him. And um, make, we've got to make sure that we get that out of our game 
uh, over the next two matches. Thank you. Hi, Wayne. Just two from me, if that's OK. Firstly, just picking up from Will's point about scoring tries against the box. Would you, in, in an ideal world, have played some more rugby today or was that conditions dictated? Oh, look, if the roof was closed or the sun was out, we would definitely played a lot more. But that ball was very wet and uh, and slippery and, and there was a lot of rain coming down in the... In the um, in the in the pre-match warm-up and we changed our, our tactics before kickoff. Um, so we just had to go with the conditions. You saw when we were trying to play, uh, it's very hard to move the ball with a wet ball and it's a lot easier to come off the line with line speed for a defensive side, uh, as you saw in the last 10 minutes. And do you think you would have scored if it wasn't for the pitch invader? I don't know. I don't know. Um, um, at the time, we thought, well, here we go. We had a, a one-man advantage. I, I don't know. I haven't had a chance to speak to the players, to be quite honest, whether or not, um, you know, they, they may have been distracted. But look, um, match officials, uh, you know, they've just got to deal with that the way the way they did really. There's, there's nothing they could have done about it.